Hey guys, I am the Ethereal Shapeshifter and this is a new episode of Metro Exodus. So why don't you sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Welcome back guys. In the previous episode, we freed some slaves at the ship here. And then we, we came here to see what loot they have. And when we came here, a massive giant demon came and I had to fought it off. And then I went in here to get loot and then another people came to ambush me and then I kicked their ass. And then we worked up with this building and then we end up here. Okay, so let's go on. Let's move on. To pick some collectibles up. Save. Okay, guys, I think it's time to deliver the maps just want to see what's going on in here yes this looks like a fortress I think this is the Baron's fortress just look at that face in the middle terrifying some place we might check out okay let's see what what we must do mm. okay we can just drive down that road or the train track to get to our destination we're going back to the train guys to deliver the maps right let's go down here dozen yeah now the only person i need is um dozen's girlfriend Mary, Mary Jane, right? Or what? No, that's Spider-Man's girlfriend. What Spider-Man's girlfriend can also do. Ah, let's get to the vehicle. I'm lucky there's no traffic cops because I'll surely get a fine for only one light. Okay, bring it on, bitch. Come on, Baron, bring it on. The Baron can bring his whole army. 
I am unstoppable because I have one thing he doesn't have and that's plot armor. Oh yeah! I really want to check out this place. Uh, I'm just Got some nice resource here. Oh, that that snake caught me. Another demon. Okay, that seems like it, guys. Let's move on. Yeah, someone was definitely murdered here. Yeah. Either by the creatures or by the Baron himself. Almost there, guys. The sands don't make this place dark. Come on, come on inside. Argue. I have the mirror on the line here, so take a seat. I'll be with you soon. What a storm! I'm made of sand, no less. Well, I damn the sand to hell. It's Uncle Artyom. Go back to sleep, darling. Uncle Artyom. I wanted to ask him. Shh, don't get up yet. Uncle Artyom has to talk to the cardinal first. Uh, okay, Mom. Oh. Uh. Grand, take a seat, Artyom. You must be tired. Welcome back to the base, Artyom. Any luck out there? We are all so anxious here. Oh, shame the guys are a boss out, eh? Let's take a seat, guys. Mila, over and out. You got them. Great job, Artyom. Great news. Our team got the maps. Well done, Artyom. Idiot. Get started with these. I'll join you later. There's a lot of see. data. The sooner we analyze it, the better. We have the maps. Now we have to find a way out of this place. And that's the hard part. We need water for the Aurora and the crew, as you can see. Stepan, Duke, and Alyosha are done with dehydration already. We also need fuel. The local bandits have it all. I had already contacted their so-called Baron. But his terms proved to be... Unacceptable. 
The old told us where they get the water, but naturally, the well is guarded. The mirror recalled the place and says we could infiltrate it stealthily. So, party, when you're ready, go rendezvous with the mirror. Your goal is to bring water to the Aurora. Failure is not an option. Yes, sir. Good luck, Artyom. I... We are all counting on you. Crest, how's the weather? The storm seems to be over. I'll go back to the post. Perfect. Artyom, while you were out, I finished making one more thing for the Tihar. The workbench is at your service. Thank you. And so, did you try the new ammo out? Should work great with all this oil around. I figure the Holy Flame would be pretty happy with them. Hmm? <laughs> <sighs> I'm feeling kind of under the weather. Not my best day ever. And I'm not doing that poorly, all things considered. I think we can last another couple of days like this. Maybe. We need water. We really do. Don't worry about that, man. Friends by Yermak, don't you have any water left at all? Well, well, where would I keep any? In your untouchable reserve, of course. <laughs> I don't have any. I don't even have a canteen. I never needed it before. Wait till lunch, then we'll all get some, huh? I wish I had a canteen. Then I'd share some water with you now. Thank you, darling. I have some good news for you. Uncle Artyom. Uncle Artyom, is this for me? Wow, thank you. Look, Grandpa Yermak, I have my own canteen now. Well, now we'll have to ask for some water. Then you'll have your old untouchable reserve. <laughs> wow, thank you. Mom, Uncle Artyom just gave me a canteen. What can I say? We clearly didn't come here in vain. Got it all figured out? You can go wild there. Our situation is critical. A few more days, and we won't be able to fight off a pack of wild dogs, much less the bandits. Sure seems so. Oh, the radiation levels are plotted Any in news color. about the water? As you can see, I, I've been trying to condense some, but with no coolant, I got less than a liter out of it. I wish it would rain, but that's highly unlikely here. Ha! <laughs> they even have the radiation level dynamics here. We are lucky in that most of the local bandits went raiding a while back. Otherwise, they sure would have come knocking at our door by now. Okay, guys, just give me a second. When is it coming? Hmm. Also, some intact infrastructure. In any case, we should study our options. Okay, sir, so I'm heading uh, out. You, you can go, go wild there. Our situation is clear. Afghanistan, a few Pakistan. more days, and we won't be able to fight off a pack of wild dogs, much less the bandits. Okay, let's head back to the the vehicle uh, so what do you think of our situation Artyom not so good huh now besides we had guests to gave them our best welcome naturally well, the beast ran straight into Stepan with his mint grinder and he just minced them we rushed out but only saw the bodies one of the bodies blood was Stepan's now, at first, I thought the bastards got him. Nah, he didn't even have a scratch on him. It was a freaking heat stroke. He's down in the station building now, resting. The rest of the guys are not in a great shape either, so... 
If those oil bandits decide to put real pressure on us, we're screwed. And they may just do that because I think that you lady is trying to use us as a piece on her own game, Blet. Having us take those bandits out would play right into her hand. Though, if we are all out from dehydration by the time they arrive, that plan will backfire big time. The colonel ordered that water is to be only given to the sick, and those on patrol doesn't drink at all himself. <sighs> so, he's cooped up inside, and there is no getting him out. He says he's too weak, it might hurt the morale if people see him like that, you know? As if the morale could get any worse with no water at all. It got so bad, Yermak decided to try and condense some from the air. It's goddamn desert, Blin. Hmm. So this is the situation. We need water and fuel, badly. And we need a hell of a lot of both. With Aurora turning over two tons of water into steam per hour, her appetite for fuel is also nothing to sneeze at. We're up a shit creek here, and we'd better find a paddle soon, you know? Or else we ain't gonna come out smelling like fucking roses. <laughs> well, that's my take on the things, at least. Okay, Chris. Stay, stay well. Okay, guys, let's go. Enough talking. More action. Guys, I don't know why, but I totally agree with the Baron, but I don't agree with his approach towards it. Oh, 
Road kills. Incoming. Coop, coop. I got three of them. I didn't even see these guys. Oh man. Let me get into a better position. This is too far yet. Run down. Fuck this! I give up! Well, it's your win, man. I don't know, I feel like mercy. You know, if they give up, I won't kill them. I will be merciful if they give up. Guys, didn't we check out this place before? I can't remember now. Well, I'm glad we checked it out now. Got some nice resources there. Okay, let's go guys. I think that's all of it. Let's head this way. Jeez. Guys, I can't drive like that. I really tried now. What's in here? Is there anything in here? Seems like it was like a safe house of some sort. I think I was maybe here before. Oh, come on. OK, 
Okay, this doesn't help. Okay. Well, that sucked. Maybe if I just... Okay. Nah, this, this is not gonna work. That sucks. Why did I do that? Guess we have to find another way. Give the charger a quick pump. Okay, empty. Let's go. What's happening? Guys, I was just attacked by the tribals. Ambush. And I don't know why. Oh, it's because I attacked him when we were there at the No, that's just freaky, guys.
and freaks. How long has it been since I told you to clear it out and collect all the usable stuff, especially the guns? Why the fuck is a whole bunch of good gear going to waste? The boys are looting it and quarreling over it. And don't give a shit that you were put in charge of the place. You're short on hands, you can't handle the responsibility? Okay, just tell me so. But if you think you can do it, produce the results. Otherwise, it might be taken as you disrespecting me. As you were, everyone. The Baron has spoken. Do you guys remember when I went to the airfield? The tribals ambushed a guy named Saul. And it wasn't Saul, it was actually me. That I think that might be a revenge for that. But I actually just made the situation much worse. Is this the place? Yeah, let's get out of here. How the hell did the ship get there? New note. So far, no patrols. Man, there's nobody around. Who'd even go here and what for? Would any tribals help their own? <laughs> Look, why don't we just off the fuck? Why do we go to all the trouble for a piece of shit? Ah, you just don't get it. You have to think what you do. That's where Baron is ten steps ahead of anyone. <laughs> so, what's the Baron's plan now? Ah, we'll just buy the fucker wholesale and have him keep the others in check. The fuck? Wouldn't be the first, you know? If we off him now, he becomes their martyr. But if we get him to dance to our tune, it's a totally different story and all his ill get a nice example. Get it now? Well, yeah, now I see it too. The Baron really is ahead. And the army to How many guys are there? One, two... So nice not to expect to pull it for a knife in the back for once. I hope we stay here for a long time. I just want to check around the corner here guys I don't want to be ambushed It looks like it's just one, this guy Is there anyone else? No No alarms yet
Is this guy still talking to me? Look like they they are onto me, guys. Look like there's a guy behind there somewhere. Can't get a nice shot on him though. Moving in. I just want to get, I don't know what's going on. Dog it down. Where's this dog? Dog it down. Come on, just need to get him. Jeez. Okay, got him. Overpowering by Christian. <coughs> Somewhere is still a guy. That was a close call, guys. I'm done fighting! You see, I'll spare your life if you give up. <laughs> oh, okay, we're, not, we're never gonna get up there.
Nice. Sorry, doggies. That's clear. Let's quickly have a check up here. Nothing. Okay, there we go. I think that's all. This is a big snake. This one, yo. What happened? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, new upgrade. That's it guys for this episode of Retro Exodus, if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe, remember to turn on your notifications so that you can be notified to new videos and as always guys see you in the next video, bye bye.